everyone. How are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a private Facebook event or party event on Facebook. So once you've created an event, you cannot change the privacy settings. So you can't go from a private to a public event and back and forth. But basically, if you want to set up a private event where only people that are invited can see it, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about creating that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is just navigate over to your Facebook profile page. So pretty straightforward process on how to do that. And if you just wanted to select your user icon in the top right, just left click on that and then select your profile icon. And then that should take you directly to your main Facebook page. Select the more button, it's far right side here and select where it says events. Underneath events where it says no events to show, select the create event button. So at this point, you can go ahead and add a cover photo for the event if you want to choose to do that. You can go ahead and upload a photo if you want. And then once that's done, you can give it a name, a start date, as well as a start time, and time zone as well. You can do is an event in person or a virtual event. You can adjust who can see it. So again, whether it's a private or public event, you can also just share it with friends as well. And if you want to do just a private event here, just select in person. Who can see it? We're going to select private. And then guests can invite friends. If you want to turn that on or off, you can toggle that to the on or off position right there. You can add additional co-hosts as well. If you want to have other people manage or respond to your event page, you can also repeat the event to occur so frequently if you want to select a daily, weekly, or a custom time interval. If you go underneath additional settings, you can also make the guest list public. So pretty straightforward. So we're just going to go ahead and set this up as a private event here and select create event and give that a moment. So now at this point, you can go ahead and search for people by name, email address, or phone number, and you can invite up to 500 people for this event. So you can just type them in here. You do all friends or just suggested. You don't have to necessarily have them on your Facebook page because you can also invite by text or email by selecting that. And once you're done typing in an email address here, you just select add to invite list, and then you can just go down the list here. You can also type in different phone numbers as well and select add to invite list. And then once that's done, you would select the send invites button down here. You can also copy the invite link by selecting this button here and that'll just give you a clickable link that you can send or text to friends or family. And then they can also sign up for the event by just selecting that. If you go underneath event link settings, you can adjust the link sharing settings here as well. So a link expires after 100 people confirm their email or phone number. So if you have a specific invite link, you just go ahead and copy that. I think the limit is in here in case someone accidentally shares it with a different group and you just have a whole bunch of people signing up that should not be part of the event. That's why you have to go ahead and create a new link after you hit 100. So pretty straightforward. Once that's done, you would select the send invites button right here. And it looks like there's just an invalid phone number. So let me just go ahead and get rid of that and select send invites. And the invites have been sent. You can see the event details have now been created here. And you can go ahead and edit the event by selecting the edit button. So we can adjust all those settings we went through earlier. As well as we can go ahead and invite other people like we were going earlier. We can send out the different suggested invites. So pretty straightforward. Welcome to add a post to the event as well by selecting the add post button. Go ahead and type it in like you would a normal Facebook post. And that's pretty much it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.